Okay, so I've already cut out um, the tool that I'm going to use for this example, but we're going to pretend like we're still using this off the bolt. So as you can see here, um, right on this side here, I have the edge with the fold. So when you're rolling out your tool, you want to make sure that you're keeping the folded edge. You don't want to cut that off. Um, I'm going to roll it out so we can pretend like we're rolling it off the bolt, okay? So, um, again, you have your folded edge and then you have your raw edge, which is the edge that's already been cut. Um, that side doesn't matter. You want to make sure that you're paying attention to which side has the fold in. Like your tool bolt is 54 inches wide. Um, when folded in half, it's 27. You want to keep that fold. So once you've cut out the yardage that you need, uh, you're going to roll it back up like it was on the bolt. That When you roll it back up, that's how you're going to be cutting it. Um, make sure that you're paying attention to, again, the folded edge. You want to make sure that side is the side that is even. doesn't matter about the raw edge because, um, again, that's the side you're going to cut. You're going to keep your folded edge. Um, another tip to keep in mind is um, if you're making a big tutu, like let's say you're using something that's 12 yards, Cut your tool in half, do six and six. When you when you don't have a whole bunch of tool to try and manage, it makes it a lot easier to keep it even, okay? So again, you just wanna make sure your folded edge is lined up nicely and your raw edge, it doesn't matter if it's uneven because again, that's the side you're gonna cut. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll this up, making sure that I'm keeping my folded edge even as much as possible you, you know there's times when you're you know when you're having the huge piece like again this is easy for me because mine's already cut but if it was the full um uh 27 inches um you know it's a little bit harder because it's bulkier um but again just make sure you're paying attention to the folded side Okay, so you see here, there's my folded edge, the part that you want to keep even. And then this is my raw edge where, you know, the tool's already been cut. It's not even, it doesn't even matter, okay? That part doesn't matter. You just want to make sure that your folded edge is even, okay? I can't stress that part enough. Honestly, if I could have showed you guys my first tutu, you would understand why when I discovered that the raw, e the folded edge is the most important part, it would have been a lifesaver, okay? The second thing is your tools are important. Your cutting tools are important. I can't stress this enough. Um, so, you, you know, you're gonna want a, a plastic ruler and a rotary cutter, okay? Again, right here, when I'm cutting mine on my mat, I leave at least a half inch, I, I put it a half inch over so that I have that half inch extra in the event that my tools, um, you know, my tool stretches and it's not even, I have some room to, to negotiate, to cut, okay? So you, whatever you do, I use my um, ruler here, my plastic ruler. I line it up to get the straightest cut that I can, and then I just use my rotary tool to cut, okay? Again, I have, even though I'm cutting it down to size, I still have a half inch of wiggle room in the event that my tool shifts and I have to go back in and fix it somehow, okay? But normally if you do it like this, it turns out good. It turns out perfect, okay? So um, I just wanted to show you guys the same thing. This is a um, tool, if I would have cut off that fold, you see here, now I have two raw edges. And you can already see here while this tool is rolled up, this is actually a tool that I'm gonna be using um, in another video. But you see how already that the two pieces aren't even even. They're not matched up. Even though I cut them straight, I, um, this is the side, this is the extra piece off of the piece that I kept with the fold, okay? If you look down here, you can see that these two pieces don't match up. That's where the problem starts when you're trying to make sure that everything is matched up. That's where the shifting starts. Even over here, it's, you know, not even. And at the very end, it's not even. So when you, when you go to fold your tool, you can automatically see how the inside piece shifts down and it makes um, that little space up at the top. And that's the problem I'm, that you guys are complaining about 
is when you don't have that fold to kind of keep your pieces together on one end, you're gonna get this little space here. That's why I do not like to use the cut end of my tool. I like to keep the fold, because um, even down at the bottom, this is the part, you're trying to get those parts to match up. The more you pull and try to get it matched up, the more it's gonna shift the further down. So you might think that at the beginning, at the very tip, you know, okay, I don't have any puckering. I don't have that space in between my pieces. But the, when you keep going, the further down you sew, you'll see where pulling it and trying to line it up to make force it to be even has made bigger puckering, uh, bigger spaces in between the top parts of your channel, okay? Um, one thing that I highly recommend is, um, if you're struggling trying if you you know if you need to cut off your folded edge if you need extra tool or whatever the situation may be um i highly suggest um investing in some sewing clips um the sewing clips kind of help you um keep everything even okay and so the sewing clips that i'm going to use are these ones here um i believe you can get these off of amazon um i'll link them but these ones are called wonder clips i believe um i like these because you know you're able to fold your tool match it up exactly how you want it to be and once you clip it it's not going to shift you can sew um i you know clip it at the very end and um and then you know you're sewing a one inch channel so you can keep sewing with these on because the sewing machine is not even gonna touch them okay so just every uh, couple of inches um i guess maybe i don't know it just depends on how big of a piece you're using how how much you want to make sure that your tool doesn't shift you can use as many clips as you want i believe this pack comes with 100 but right now my clips are on a whole bunch of different projects so you know my my container looks empty but again uh just pin it wherever you uh or clip it wherever you want to clip it um again it's your discretion how many you want to use i suggest using as many as you can just because it makes it a lot easier to prevent shifting um and you already know once you clip it you already know that yours is going to be even um i do have a couple pieces um already clipped so i'm just going to grab those and then i'm going to show you exactly how it looks like i have one uh with the fold and i have one without the fold so i believe this black piece here um is it the black one yeah the black one the black one is the one that has the fold already attached so this part this one i didn't clip it but as you can see here i clipped it um you know maybe every 12 inches and there's no space in between um where I'm going to be sewing my channel. There's no puckering. Um, everything's lined up. This is why I prefer to sew with a fold on. I actually honestly do not use the clips, but when you're struggling, you know, the clips helped me when I when I was having so many issues and I get so frustrated. Um, again, down at the bottom, if this is this, it doesn't matter if this isn't even. That's not your primary focus. If you're putting ribbon on the end, nobody's going to know that this the, the bottom piece is uneven. Even if you don't, put ribbon on the end when you're when you fluff out your tool nobody's gonna know that the sides are uneven um if it bothers you once you get the ribbon on there you can always trim it um next is going to be the yellow piece um the yellow piece is the one that does not have the fold so again you can see where here where i clipped it let me find the end of it um Okay, so here you can see, uh, you know, the bottom is not completely even, but it doesn't even matter the, that this is the four pieces, the four raw edges, okay? There's no fold, but you can see here where I've clipped it, there's no, there's a little tiny bit of puckering, but you can always, you know, when you get to the parts that you can see a little bit uh, in between the tool, if you just pinch and roll it between your fingers slightly, not a lot to make the whole thing shift, you just pinch and roll it slightly, it'll gather for you okay you're not going to be at the pulling it at the bottom um, of the edges trying to line it up but you know just um i'll probably show you that in another video i just kind of want you guys to see how the clips help how keeping the folded edge helps um let's go ahead and start sewing um so i'm not going to change my thread but if you can see here i keep my tension at a four 
okay? Um, my needle is in the center and my stitch width is at a three and as well as my stitch length, it is at a three, okay? Um, sorry about the lighting, it's super hot where I live, so we do not do the whole light thing, okay? So um, bear with me. Um, I'm not going to change my thread. Um, this tutu is actually a bumblebee theme, so the color of my thread doesn't even matter. I do not I do not switch my thread to be matching because honestly, after doing over 100 rainbow tutus, I don't even care no more, okay? Leave the thread alone, all right? All right, so... You can see here, I line mine up with the little screw part here um, to sew my one inch channel. You can sew with the clips on. Um, just make sure that, you know, you're using your guidelines if you have them on your sewing machine so that you're sewing at least a one, one inch channel, okay? Okay, again, I just wanted to reiterate the part about it being uneven on the edge. Please do not try to pull it and make it even. That part, I'm telling you, leave it alone. Like, even with me being ADHD, like, like it bothers me, but I keep telling myself, I can trim that. If I want it to be perfect and even, once I sew it, I can, once I sew my ribbon on, I can, I can trim it. It's not going to be a problem, okay? So, don't worry about that. Just go ahead, make sure your channel doesn't have any puckering and there's no space in between and go ahead and start sewing, okay? Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and sew this part. I'm going to be quiet. You don't need to hear me talk to this whole part. remaining intact um you can see oh actually this one doesn't have the folded edge so this is just i, I sewed the one without a folded edge just so you could see you know even with the clips help a lot okay you can see there's no gathering there there is like uh um where i was pointing at while i was sewing there's a tiny 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 bit of space in between but it doesn't even matter um because you can't see it um let me show you what it's going to look like once I put it um, on the elastic. Okay, so here I have my three quarter inch elastic. Um, I'm just going to uh, get it ready. I'm going to put on, on one end, I'm going to use um, the safety pin. You know, if you make tutus, you know how to feed the elastic. Um, but I found this really cool tool here that I definitely recommend you get. I hate using the safety pins. So this little tool, it just clips on one end of the elastic and it feeds right on through, okay? So make sure you get both layers. Make sure you get both layers because um, some of that unevenness comes when you've missed a layer, okay? So once you feed it all the way through, um, you know, you'll see what it looks like uh, with uh, the, the help of the clips keeping your tool even for you. Alright, so now that it's all on the elastic, you can see here that there is not 
there I mean there's a little bit but there's not that extra uh, space in between um, everything's lined up on the you know it's it's flat it's straight it's not bunched up um, so I hope I was able to kind of give you some a little bit of more help with uh, sewing it and um, reducing some of the puckering if you have any more questions feel free to message me I will you know make another video answering your questions um, but yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.